One of the many benefits of attending baseball games at Dietrich Park is you never know who you're likely to meet. That uh, you shouldn't live in the past. It's dangerous. But to visit it is a, just a, a wonderful experience. World three World Series rings. Not many people can lay right. claim to one, and you had three. Yeah, I was I was lucky. I mean, I think if my count was right, I think there were only thirteen guys that were on all three. Oh, was that right? And out of that, I know I've asked certain guys. I'm not sure everybody bought the trophies that every year because Finley gave us the big trophy the first year. And I bought the other two years, but I'm not sure how many guys bought all three. So that's so a pretty nice collection. 67 was my first year in the big leagues in Kansas City, which was the last year before Finley moved the team to Oakland. So coming out to Oakland in 68 was a new experience, fun. And, you know, I saw then that the team was going to be pretty good. You know, I got traded, came back, and was there for the three World Series teams. Charlie Finley. <clears throat> You read, read so much about him. What would you like to use as a player? To me, he was a very interesting man. I learned a lot from him. Uh, there's a number of guys on our clubs that will probably have different opinions. In fact, I know they have different opinions. He was difficult to deal with. I guess he was a Steinbrenner, mm -hmm. you know, kind of like that. I mean, I had a lot of personal dealings with him, you know, contractually and whatever. Um, he was more than fair, I think, at that time, although we probably didn't think so because we were under everybody's thumb, you know, in that, in that era flamboyant he was out there I think I think his flamboyancy had something to do with us winning because what I got from him is that he liked you to stand up to him I don't think he liked anybody just to kind of bow bow down to him or step aside but he found players he'd add somebody every time we needed somebody and he came up with somebody good he didn't know anything about the game but he was on the phone constantly I think learning about it and talking to people and you got to give him credit for what he did. In Birmingham, and when I was in Double A, had the mule in the hotel. We had a luncheon in Birmingham to start the season. The mule was in the corner of the hotel, cordoned off with a big silver bowl. You know, it was it was his gimmick. You know, the zoo in Kansas City, the animals out there, and everything else. But the rabbit that popped up behind home plate. I mean, he just he was always thinking, always thinking. But the thing that stands out about that club, and we just had a reunion, you know, a month ago. Uh, out there, even talking to these guys now, Dick Williams ran the club, but I think that club could have probably run itself. I mean, the intensity and the focus that each individual had was real different. Me, the biggest one is being able to play with all those A's guys. I mean, the, the reunions we have now and going back to see those guys, I mean, it, it, it's just a great thrill to have been part of that. I mean, I was with Oakland managing. You know, they won two championships while I was there. Cleveland's won two championships. So I have, I have a number of championship rings, you know, not just the World Series. And those things are unbelievable for me. How many guys have? I've got, I've got eight, including we won the Midwest League. So I've got eight championship rings. Who's got that? You know, just, just being in baseball this long, I mean, they'll have to drag me off the field, I think. You know, it's, it's not work to me. It's just, I just like being out there. I like the competition. We're living my own kid <laughs> memories.